，暂停一下，给大家介绍左面这位，他叫纳拉雅纳·莫西，印度软件外包公司人分子的创始人之一，印度最著名的企业家，地位大概类似我们的两匹马，或者卖脑白金的史巨主之流，在印度享有盛誉。其女婿就是前英国首相苏纳克。i n f o r c e 公司是印度最著名的软件外包公司。当我们说到印度服务业或印度软件业的时候，往往就是指这家公司。这个视频就是某个论坛上莫西受访时的讲话。原视频发布于2023年12月。Say that GDP per capita number where things start to change drastically in today's ecosystem. Let's assume it's five thousand dollars per person. If you had to give three suggestions, three very definitive suggestions、uh, that could easily be implemented by the government that you think will go a long way towards helping this outcome, what would they be?、Uh, to to enhance the GDP, take well, it to GDP of five thousand dollars per capita. Yeah, well, you know we have a neighbor in the north, China. China has reached. A, a GDP of nineteen plus trillion dollars. We are at three point one or three point two, three point four. I don't know whatever. Maybe four. Some people are saying four. I don't know whatever it is. In other words, a neighbor of ours up in the north, which had all the, the same problems as us, which you know has reached a GDP five times India's or six times India's. So all that I would、uh, humbly request our political leaders is to study China very, very carefully, and then say what are the good things that we can learn from China and implement it here, so that India too become becomes you know India too advances at the same pace as China and India too becomes. A, 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 a become a nation that has reduced the poverty of its people. One answer to that could be China of the 80s and 90s and 2000s, early 2000s, was really open in nature.、Uh, you yourself have worked in an industry which is outsourcing services for a long time now.、Uh, India is still not truly both capital account and current account convertible, which makes it hard for businesses like this to truly thrive. Do you think we are at risk for overregulation? Do you think overregulation is curtailing the animal spirits of entrepreneurs in India today? No, you know there is a difference between China and India. We were a colonized country. For one thousand plus years, starting with whatever Allah Din Kilvi or whoever came around nine hundred eighty, whatever it is, to nineteen forty-seven, we were our destiny was under the control of foreigners who did not identify themselves with our country. So it is very difficult for us to compare. With China, which did not go through this kind of stuff, and、uh, second thing is that we we have a different model of governance. Okay,、uh, I mean we are a democracy, at least in voting, and therefore it's not that easy. It's not that easy for the the、uh, uh, the for the government to push through what it believes is the best uh, uh, you know best methods of best methods of increasing the prosperity. So this is a very complex issue, but what we need to do is. In some way, all the political parties come together, and each political party、uh, 
contribute a couple of intellectuals from their uh, party and they form a committee and then they all sit together and then invites a few uh, you know well uh, you know successful uh, well experienced academicians and uh, uh, corporate leaders and all and then say what are the practical solutions that we can come out with so that we move up to one in five when attracting foreign direct investment not foreign portfolio investment foreign foreign portfolio investment comes today and it goes tomorrow at a profit on the other hand foreign direct investment is where people come here to stay long they put in a lot of money in building infrastructure they make the company stronger so i think if we can come out with a with a, a report wherein we can say these are the 100 things that have made various other nations a a fast progressing and prosperous country uh, therefore let's try and see if we can implement it now it is very very important whether it is a bjp government or a congress government or a whatever uh, some trinamool congress i don't know whatever they are they all have to say our country comes first and then our party and and in order to in order to do that we may have to make certain minor adjustments in our own in the aspirations of our own party i think that is the kind of india i am looking for. i am 78 i don't know how many years i will live but if i can see such a such a coming together of the the wonderful political leaders that we have in this country sit together you know argue based on data and facts and agree what is a reasonable suggestion what is a worthwhile suggestion and then say whether i am in party a or party b party c this is our bhagavad gita of business progress and we will all follow and nobody will raise objection i think that is the kind of india that i am dreaming of